Hi there, my name is Steve Brown from CAD School, and for over 25 years now, we've been teaching people to use Vectorworks. If you're interested in training or in purchasing the software, do head over to my website, cadschool.co.uk. Enjoy this snippet entitled, Eight Ways to Copy Objects. So, method one. With the selection tool, hold down the control key on the PC, option key on the Mac, control drag, followed by control D as many times as you like. We can do the same thing in 3D. As you can see, control drag, followed by control D as many times as you like. A more elaborate way would be to use the move by points tool. So if we select the object, go to the move by points tool already filled in and with seven copies, click, move, click, we've got seven copies going along uh, in this direction. And again, let's see that working again in 3D. Select the object, move by points tool, and if we're snapping to 3D points, it will respond to that and copy. Moving on, we've got the duplicate array command. Good old favorite. It's got three methods of working, but we're just going to show one, which is the circular array. We've already set this up with the right duplication angle, also Z offset of successive duplicates. And we're going to make from this a circular array, which will be, you can see it, a spiral staircase. Next one, number four, duplicate along a path. Select an object, select a path, edit many, menu, menu, duplicate along a path. Preview that, we can see the copies go rotate along the path, or if you turn off tangent to path, they will just go straight. Same number, uh, but this time I'm going to show you the same thing, duplicate along a path, working in 3D. A little Christmas theme here, I hope you'll appreciate it. Edit, duplicate array, no, not duplicate array. Edit, duplicate along a path, excuse me, and uh, preview that, and okay. We've got duplicate along a path. We're quickly going to change to a particular camera and a particular render setting to give it an extra Christmas sparkle. So not only these glowing lights, but uh, we've applied a camera effect called Bloom, so that the, we have added glow here. Onto line styles. Um, this has got limited use, but um, we can see in this, this uh, example what it can do and its limitations. So I've got a line type and we've got these objects copied along the path. Now, the objects cannot be symbols that are copied along the path and they cannot be 3D. So enter the repetitive unit tool. Uh, we're going to use the repetitive unit tool, which can be found in detailing and up here, repetitive unit tool, but we're not going to use the tool directly. We're going to go right click Create object from shapes, use the repetitive unit tool which has already been set up and we've got these objects along a path. We could change the values here to parametric so we could have a larger spacing, we could edit the path and they are 3D symbols. Now we're just going to render that in OpenGL. So that's our duplicate um, using repetitive unit tool. Moving on, we have tiles. Number seven is tiles. So again, this limited use in 2D only, but we're going to change this to a fill of a tile. And again, that's copying our houses along this piece of land. Only in 2D can't count symbols. So number eight, drum roll. We've got a 3D symbol, and in this case, just a 2D surface. And we go model, create surface array. Fill in the parameters and we've got three rows of houses. But the houses there in 3D could be counted on a spreadsheet. We could, of course, increase the number of rows. We could change the shift factor to alternate the spacing of the houses. Even more exciting than that is the same method in 3D where we have 3D NURB surface and an object. And then if we, we can move from that to a NURBS surface or a surface array, which has created some sort of... Uh, uh, roof structure. Uh, we've got another example of that where we've got, uh, excuse me, we've got this this object here which can stretch the lips. I do hope you've enjoyed these eight ways of copying objects in Vectorworks um, and come to cadskill.co.uk for more information. Mm -hmm.